<laughs> what are we doing today, sir? <laughs> We're doing a triple blind, three different bottles. We don't know what's in what glass. We're going to be at Heaven Hill in 1792 at the end of the month doing some barrel picks with Oasis Liquors out of Falcon, Colorado. We got invited along to be a part of that. Let's uh, let's get this taste test started and see which one we like best. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yummy straight off the bat. Ew. Yep. Big punch of vanilla and caramel. Thing is, is some of these are, you know, like the full proof is a pretty standard release, but these other two um, barrel proofs are, I think those are ones, uh, B524 and probably A124. Okay. A1. So, yeah, they, they obviously each batch release tastes a little different. So, this isn't necessarily, uh, you know, indic uh, this isn't, this isn't necessarily going to be comparable to what we end up choosing, but. For now, let's see which one out of these three we like best. I'm losing my sticker. Stripping on me. Too much alcohol. <laughs> That's nice. Nice long hug on it. Oh, damn, I can't even get past the smell. Mm. Oh, not at all. <laughs> he's just going. He's just going for it, folks. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm just. I'm just. You know. I feel what that smell is. Delicious bourbon. Yeah, delicious. That's what it smell like. Right. Oh, what is that? I get, I'm getting more like a butterscotch. You're, you're, you're still on glass number one? Yeah, I'm still glass number one. I've moved on to number two. This is strawberries and cream for me on this one. Got a lot of oak with that first one. First one's oaky. Second one is spicy, surprisingly, but not as not as proofy as the first one. You'll see when you get to it. I got a lot more of that butter caramel on this one. Yeah, it's sweeter on the nose, and spicier on the on the palate. Yeah, definitely. This oh, yeah. one definitely creamier. Yeah. Spicier. And oak in there too. I was like, I expect to get oak out of all of them. This third one though is throwing me for a bit of a loop. It's like a combination of the first two. It is. Mm -hmm. A little bit of baking spice on the nose. A little bit of vanilla. I got like vanilla wafers. Yeah, some yeah, some kind of biscuit on there. It's not, not bad at and, all. And that butterscotch caramelish. You get a lot of butterscotch out of all of them. Out of that one, or which one did I say? This one and this one. Hmm. I'm going to have to go back and revisit these because, I mean, I know kind of where I want to head. But I'm going to have to revisit, make sure that my palate was on point. <clears throat> uh, take hold a, on. Take a big boy sips over there. Yeah, go ahead. Hold on a second. I'm back. <laughs> uh, no, now I can smell it more. Mm. Yeah, they're 
obviously open up over time. They're all going to gain some sweetness. Number one. Even more buttery. So number two just kind of lost a little, dropped down a little more of that marmalade style. Yeah, number one is good. I'm not even, uh, I don't even think I'm feeling confident enough to start guessing which distillery is in what glass or which release is in what glass. But they are all good pours. Very good pours, actually. Smell kind of went down on that one. These two sound very similar. A little grainy on number two, man. It's not bad. It's just it's fresh grains is what I'm getting. Number one definitely opened up a little more of that sweetness, but that finish is still like a popsicle stick. That's what I, I think that's what I'm getting on glass, too. I mean, I, I'm to number pretty two. sure I got my, my order lined up, and it's not, a, it's not a, a smash hit home run by any means. They're all relatively close. Yeah, I got my order set. How about you? Uh, no. I'll take you another 25 uh, minutes. I'll take me forever. You know how that go. It's like it smelled good, not so good, great. Then smell great. Then, yeah, I kind of lost it. Now I'm back over here. You sound like you've got yourself highly confused over there. No, no, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it just... This one started smelling better than it tasted. This one tasted better than it smelled. And the sad part is these two smell very much alike. Two of them are from the same distillery. Taste-wise, I'm going number two, I think, so far. So far. <laughs> Again, it's not a three-hour freaking episode. It could be. The nose on this one opened up. Smells good. You know, you can get some actual notes other than just good or bad. It's good, <laughs> man. It's good. <laughs> I said it like butterscotch and caramel and caramel or whatever the hell they call it. Depending on where you're from. Caramel. Caramel. A caramel. Or you can just make up your own pronunciation of every word in the English language. <laughs> That's true. I'm telling you, man. That one, yeah. Oh, wow. See that one? Said, oh, man. I'm telling you, I need to quit doing this shit. Those two, they have this. I've heard the, I've heard the description before. Kind of like, oh, they're like it's a certain green bean. They're kind green of flat. Bean? I don't know what they're called, snow pods or snow peas. It's some yeah. sugar snap peas. I don't know. They're, they're about yay long. They're flat. They got big beans in them, no and they just disgusting. Where the hell you were pulling that note from? Really? Some sort of Asian bean. I, I smell waxy. Not getting that at all. Yeah, I'm just. I think the smell on them too. Just the point. This one I'm getting that butterscotch still. Well, I don't like the flavor of it though. The nose is great. Flavor though, <laughs> at least the finish. The beginning is real nice and sweet. That finish is real dry and grainy. Today, Junior. I should have had more to drink before this. That's what it is. <laughs> it's 
just like the taste of that one better. I'll definitely go with two as my first place. Hmm. Only because of the nose. All I go with one is second place. Three is third place. That one because, I don't know, getting a funk on the smell. Tastes real sweet, but then it just gets a real nasty snow pod green bean. I don't know what those things are called. <laughs> They're just disgusting. I force Anything them that's green is disgusting <sighs> to you. I like broccoli. <laughs> and I like regular green beans. And I like peas. Normal vegetables. Yeah, that's my order. Two is one. One is two. Three is three. Where are you going? I'm pretty close. One is one. Two is two. Three is three. Oh, you just right down the line. All right, let's see what we got here. What is O Larceny V524? Oh! Three. Larceny V524. It's number three. We'll go that way. Last place. All right. Tie breaker between sec first and second with us. Check that one. I'll check this one. Ready? Hold on. Let's make sure my numbers. All right. Ready? I thought my you numbers. were going to switch your decision. No, no, last no. Second. <laughs> Number two is one. Number one is two. All right. Ready? Take a look. Number two. Number one. So, number one for me, which was number one, was the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Which came in number two for me. Yep. You chose foolproof of 1792 for your number one. Foolproof 1792 number one. Larceny sliding in third. And you that's know, a B524. That's and it's surprising for me because usually we're weeder guys and Larceny's a weeder. So, it just goes to show, man, you know, these blinds don't always produce the results that you may think they're going to produce. Not that we went into this expecting one to be better than the other, you know, just based on, you know, the, the distillery or the release. But we are usually Weeder fans. So for that to come in third place is a little bit of a surprise, but a pleasant one because it just goes to show that if you don't know what you're drinking, it could always turn out to be something that you don't expect that uh, comes out on top. Yeah. Anyway. We will be heading to Kentucky at the end of September. I think we're doing, we're locked in for two distilleries. We might be doing a third. The two that we're locked in for is Heaven Hill. We're doing a, a Elijah Craig barrel proof and the Larceny barrel proof store pick. I haven't seen any of them around, so pretty cool to be involved in that. And uh, we'll also be over at 1792 doing a foolproof pick for o Oasis Liquors out of Falcon, Colorado. Shout out to Christopher. And uh, keep your eye out for more episodes, more content, and we'll see you guys soon. Ready? Cheers. That's good shit.